work on it and uh, we thought and uh, I also was um, able to get in touch with the Thunderbirds and spend a weekend with them. I saw that in that article, yes. And uh, that weekend I took about 3,000 pictures of them flying, so I had really good at documentation to get it what I think is fairly accurate. As good as you fly, I have to tell you, I saw that couple maneuvers with smoke. Yes. I mean, you know, 10 is the highest score you can give a Top Gun. I know they were giving you 12 and 12 and a half. So that was, <laughs> that was, I mean, so I don't know what's up with that. But it's, <laughs> No, the airplane is rock solid. Uh, I think it's due to the size, really. The size, it's uh, it's right around 50 pounds, and uh, it just flies really well. It locks on. It's a real solid flying airplane, It's, which is not normal for the F-16, but again, I believe it's all due to the size. And what's up with the change of colors on the shirt? It used to be red, oh, now it's oh, orange. Oh, you noticed that, huh? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, I guess it was last year. I uh, decided to make a switch, and uh, I'm glad I did. I tell you, the 14 channels have come in real handy. And the 2.4 technology is awesome. You don't need all the extra antennas. Uh, works well. I mean, what can I say? I'm happy. I'm, well, that's good. The rest of the family is all Futaba, and now we can actually share stuff and swap stuff. Oh, that's right, because your brother has been flying Futaba for years, hasn't he? Yeah, that's yeah. Right. I remember that. Anyway, Graham, um, I know what's going to happen. After this interview, and after wherever you place with the airplanes, you'll always do well, and I know that. Um, people are going to want to buy this airplane. Not your airplane, but I mean, a kit. Yeah. It's going to happen. Right. With not a lengthy discussion, but is it something that, that a good jet modeler can put together and be successful with, or is it is it so new and there's a lot more to go yet? What, what's the well, th actually, this kit has been developed over nine years. Um, Ryan started about nine years ago working on it. Uh, he, he lives very close to the... Um, the Netherlands Air Force Base, and he has friends there, and he has very good access to the airplane. What I'm getting down to is the outline is extremely accurate. Um, it's the first kit ever that I didn't have to fudge where I put the uh, the markings on it. It fit exactly to all the panel lines. How about building the airplane? Building the airplane is, is it's a project. It's not for a beginner by any Does means. Does it have instructions? The language okay. barrier is a little... So problem. here's the deal, folks. You can buy this airplane. Right. And I, know, I think a good model would probably figure it out. Oh, yeah. saying. Yes. Anyway, David Schulman, Graham Mears, good luck to you. I've already seen your static score. You did well. And uh, that's it. Okay. Later. Thank you. They won first place in team scale by nine tenths of a point. They started out with a static score of five tenths of a point less than that A10 you saw previously. What a remarkable job by the pilot, which is David Schulman, and an incredible presentation by Graham Mears. From what I understand, this team and the aircraft are making the rounds as special guests at several air shows, guests of the Thunderbirds, wherever they are performing, and rightly so. What a magnificent airplane.